Hello, welcome to a new video. I've just bought a couple of new art supplies I thought I would show you. All new things. As you may know, I've been trying different mediums, different um, mixed media techniques, layering different types of things. So this has all been really enjoyable for me and I'm excited. I, oh, I don't know about you, but oh my gosh, I just love trying a new art supply. So I'll show you quickly what we've got. Liquitex Basics Acrylic in Metallics and Iridescence. Yeah, I'm just really getting into glitter and, and shininess. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit hesitant about it, I have to say, because obviously these things don't show up very well on prints of artwork, but I thought I would have fun with it anyway. So we've got a pack of six. So we've got bronze, copper, silver, gold, iridescent white and iridescent graphite that's exciting to try there's not a lot of information given on the box just says six lustrous acrylic colors made with artist quality pigments yeah excited to give those a try so that's that and um, the next thing is mungyo mungyo i've got to learn how to pronounce these things professional watercolor nostalgia of pastel watercolour pan set. So I got these because, um, as a travel set really, I've got a cheapy old, very old pan set of watercolours that I take with me when we go away in the camper van, but um, there's no white, <laughs> there's no white. And I was hoping that these would come with a white and I've just looked on the back, oh if I can get this out of the box, there's no white listed here either. There we go. I will give these a try and if I like them I think I will try and get another uh, normal range of colours rather than the pastels because I've heard good things about this brand and although it's not professional quality I think it's very top end of sort of student grade paints I've heard. Oh I like that and I suppose the ring underneath is so you can hold it like a palette. That could actually work. I, I've never really got the hang of the big palettes with the thumb hole but I could see that working with my middle finger and yeah that's quite a handy thing but I'm guessing you could actually put single pans down the middle as well oh that comes out too so you could even use that bit as a palette I'm looking forward to giving that a try isn't that neat and diddy and I like the fact that it's a metal case yeah although I don't use pan paints very often for travel they're very handy and lastly, Derwent Extra Large Graphite Blocks. Big, extra large, chunky ones. Ooh, let's take the packaging off. Ooh, that's so satisfying. Oh, wow, look at them. We've got very soft, soft, burnt amber, raw amber, dark, Prussian, and what does that say olive no olive green and yeah and it says they are naturally water soluble i think i read on the back combines the natural qualities of high quality graphite with the strength and body of a chunky block yeah i am excited to use these i i did it about whether to get these because i don't often use ginormous bits of paper but i think honestly this will get me to <laughs> so i'll give those a test as well This is a happy car. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't. I don't think you can, darling. <laughs> We've all got a day off work. It's the weekend and Rain's got a rare weekend day off. And as it's Jude's birthday tomorrow, it was her choice and we've come to the Haynes Motor Museum. I do like seeing all these old vintage cars. Armchair. Um, the wood on the brass. Yeah, a car costs more than a house. That's so bizarre. <laughs> that was fun though. <laughs> It's lovely. They were 
was so tall to make room for the head. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Make room for their top hats. <laughs> I have to film this poem. Pause it. Pause the video for a second and just read this because it's really nice. So this is like the car Hastings drives in the Poirot series. <laughs> That's Rain doing an impression of Poirot, by the way. <laughs> Specifically what he's driving in the car. Okay. <laughs> I love the way they've got them all red. I like this line. Red is more than a colour, it is an attitude. <laughs> I was wrong. Hastings had a Ligonda, not an Alfa Romeo. <laughs> Don't let them set my impression here. <laughs> 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 we all like this one, little baby Austin. <laughs> Granddad had one of these. Mm -hmm. This was bright yellow and then the state coat. A humber. Then the time just rolling around in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, isn't it? Cool. It's a good museum. It is a good museum. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, look at all this. We're just having a moan as to why they don't make interesting cars anymore. This one here, lemon yellow at the front, a sort of white off white at the back, and a teal interior. Look at that. I mean, why do we not get teal interiors anymore? And just nice colours and nice shapes. Well done! <laughs> Not the right colour. They should have done it in Morse colour. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, you're kissing the front. You have to open the front to get in. <laughs> Look at the face on that one. 72 is your mini. They are cute cars. Bonnet makes it go faster. It's hard. It's 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 I think we've all decided that was a very successful day out. <laughs> the Haynes Motor Museum was better than we expected. It's a good museum. If you've got kids that are interested in cars, yeah, definitely a good one. And then we went to American, an American diner afterwards to continue on the vintage feel, which was fun. Well, this is a bit of a different angle. I don't think I've ever sat here with the tripod and the camera there. So yeah, just let's do a little quick review. It is, I have to admit, a little bit later from when I finished it because Jude chose a film to watch and we do normally get together to watch a film together on and um, the birthday person gets the choice of the film. So Sunday evenings are usually like that for us. So thought I'd better go do that, but I've left everything on. So I need to remember to charge this up. So anyway, I'm babbling on. Review of the Derwent XL graphite blocks. Oh, I flipping love them. I really do like water-soluble media anyway. I like um, water-soluble pencils and all that sort of thing. Of course, the main drawbacks are the fact that there's only four colours. 
to choose from and three of those and two of those are two are brown two are gray sort of tones of gray could do with a darker black for the real dark shading potentially a white but I guess you just have to remember to treat them like you would watercolors and leave the paper blank I mean I've got this little building I don't know it looks like a house in my picture but it's an odd place to have a house so I don't know what this building is and I just forgot to leave space for it and I just could not put that in mind you it's not a very representative picture it's very much so this is not quite a3 but definitely bigger than a4 and it was a bit tricky uh, with this size block to get defined details or anything like that which is sort of what you'd expect but amazing for covering broad areas of the paper amazing pigment you could just touch the paper and with the water when you go over it with a paintbrush it really releases a lot of colour onto the page so I can imagine these lasting for quite some time if you want those details I would combine them with the Graphitint pencils the Derwent Graphitint pencils I love them too yeah I couldn't gush about these more to be honest and it's made me want to go back and use my Inktense blocks again I haven't used those for a while they're not as chunky as these and that has limitations too because they are very bright bold colours difficult to get pastel shades and difficult to get dusky shades with them so I'm going to experiment actually with sort of perhaps having the both of them together and the graphitint pencils and there's graphitint paint pans as well but the great thing about this I think these are just really good for like perhaps sketching outdoors, sketching landscapes and just getting down some of the colour which is what I've been enjoying doing. I really really loved these and it's really sparked my, um, wow, it's really, what's the word? Passion is the wrong word but um, interest, interest is too dull, passion is too much, somewhere in between those. <laughs> Sorry it's quite late now. <laughs> It's been a long day it's been a busy long day whatever the word is it's reignited it <laughs> into trying the inktense blocks and uh, looking at my water soluble pencils and that sort of thing as well yeah because I've been doing mainly painting lately so it's nice to do something different always encourage you to do something different because sometimes you could just get that yeah this works this works and I'm really quite pleased with the result that I managed to do it's just the sort of thing that I like doing quickly because I'm an impatient artist. Even if I had the space in here for big canvases, I think I would struggle to spend like days working on them. So this is great for me. I love it. So yeah, do try something different. You might love it. Um, on that note, I would like to ask because today, you know, I filmed us going out for Jude's birthday trip. I filmed a little clip of the diner afterwards. And then I took Merlin out for a walk soon well actually I had a nap when we got back then I took Merlin out for a walk and I was thinking it was such a nice evening I should have filmed that as well and then I filmed this a random clip of me fixing the curtain I don't know if it was the heat of the summer or what but uh, my curtain has fallen right down all of the curtain hooks are broken so that's my next task for the day it's actually been quite a long time since I did those sort of vlogs where I just vlog the day you know and, and some of it might be a bit boring but also we're all nosy and like watching having like little glimpses into each other's lives I like watching vlogs where people take you through their day actually so do let me know in the comments because I'm feeling a little bit downhearted a little bit um yeah my views have been really rubbish lately, particularly on my Cornwall vlog that I did and I loved that vlog. I thought it was well edited, well shot and usually my camper van vlogs around Cornwall do quite well so uh, I guess I'm struggling a bit so please let me know in the comments. I would really really appreciate it if you could just let me know what sort of content you'd like to see from me would you like to see the daily type vlogs where I just take you around my day or around or show you snippets of my week that uh, are not necessarily conventionally interesting they're just like daily vlog type things 
or would you rather I stick to mainly showing you the creative side of my life, showing you the creative projects that I do? Would you prefer them to be a bit more instructional or more reviews, that sort of thing? If I could have your input, I would really, really appreciate it. If anyone is watching this, <laughs> if you've got this far in the video, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Please give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate all your comments and I appreciate you being here. And I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye. Oh, do you want I've got cheeks? Get a laser. The green stay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. That's supposed to say Jude, I'm not sure if it does, but yeah, it kind of does. <laughs>